Hello, I am Tezekiah Gabriel of Pathways to Peace. We're here today to talk about our Exceptional Women of Peace Awards. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce our project lead, which is author, activist, friend, and colleague, Kim Weichel. Kim? Thanks, Tez, and welcome. We've launched these awards to highlight and celebrate the important work that women do around the world building peace in their communities. Yet so often women's voices are silenced or unrecognized. So we wanted to lift up and honor exceptional work. There are two awards, one for a young woman 25 or younger and another for a woman over 25. We've put together a diverse leadership and selection team. In addition to Tez and myself, this includes Natasha Singh Ali from South Africa, Asha Asalan from India, and Genevieve Balans Kupang from the Philippines. We'd like to share their voices with you now. Hello, I am Natasha Singh Ali, a council member of the Pathways to Peace, and I welcome you to participate in a wave of peace with me. I am honored to connect with you and to seek out women leading peace. Allow me to read and share my story. My deep love and attachment to the spirit of my country, South Africa, has led me to open my heart in service, to paper peace about me, and as far as I can go, both physically and digitally. I am led by the spirit of many great women who have, through example, brokered and fostered peace in my previously shattered country. They committed their life's work to political and social activism for peace. As a result, the many cultures and opinions have prevailed in this tangle of joy called South Africa. I am imbued with the indomitable spirit and have a responsibility to carry and share that brilliant torch of love and humanity we call Ubuntu. I may not have the might to march or to lead many, but I arrive as a quiet messenger of peace. I am constantly learning and my current trek into the wilderness of self has me processing the need to respect our planet at the peace table. Not only to be kind and respectful of our interactions with each other, but also the biodiversity of our lands and the fragile ecosystems we are a part of. Peace is the ingredient that smooths and tempers the excesses, the waste, and the boundary breaking habits. Peace is not about being timid, a pushover or retracting until you become the wallpaper. As a management consultant, a businesswoman and an attorney, I remind myself to have the courage to be heard and seen and the grace and warmth to recognize, accept and connect with others. Smiling, being polite and taking a beat to consider how others are feeling are only a few of the reminders that go off in my head when I interact as a peace builder. The women of South Africa I speak of helped forge a democracy and spaces for collaboration and reconciliation. They walk tall and raise their voices to exalt others. Like a flower bursts forth, splitting the green bud that holds it firmly in place, they edged forward and blossomed. They pushed past the layers of social restraint and found peace in the lap of justice. Today, we recognize that peace sits at the intersection of effort, love, and acceptance. Peace resides at the level of self in an open heart, at the level of relationships through cooperation, and at the level of nations through sovereign acknowledgement. Peace is an aspirational act, elevating engaging participants. And peace is also a quiet place where not a word need be said. Peace is an essence we hold in our hearts that makes life and life flourish when we take the time to share and show it. Peace comes when we extend ourselves, nurture, produce, develop, strengthen, and cultivate for the benefit of others. You and many more have done as much. We call on you to please share your story 
and that of other women demonstrating peace. Peace and blessings to you. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Asha Ashokan and I'm calling from India. Um, I'm honored and delighted to be part of this leadership team to identify and to honor 10 exceptional women of peace and exceptional young women of peace. I'm thankful to Pathways to Peace for giving me this opportunity uh, to celebrate the work of women peace builders across the world. Regarding my own work, I've been working on international peace and security for more than a decade. Um, and my area of focus is uh, women, peace and security, human rights, peace building, civilian protection, and nuclear weapon issues. In this regard, I had the opportunity to support organizations like United Nations, Nonviolent Peace Force, um, Nuclear Ban, uh, US, in, in South Sudan and in the US. I also co-chair um, Peacemaking Working Group of Women of Color Advancing Peace and Security and heavily involved in different groups within the Rotary uh, working for global peace. I'm personally uh, very much delighted to be part of this campaign uh, because during my six years of work in South Sudan and Sudan, um, I've seen the uh, impact of war and violence on uh, civilians, especially women and children. And in all these conflict affected communities, women played an important role um, in to end violence, uh, for building peace and for negotiating peace agreements. For example, exceptional women peace builders in South Sudan played an important role at all levels, whether it be state level, grassroots level, national level or international level uh, for the peace, peace agreement. Um, they, they supported uh, different groups in, in, in bringing peace to the country. And thankfully, the peace is holding in South Sudan uh, because of the work of many peace builders, including uh, women peace builders. And this is not only the case of South Sudan. Women across the world um, play an important role uh, in building peace uh, within their community and for making a positive change within their community. In most cases, the work of uh, women peace builders in grassroots level are not recognized or not honored. And I'm thankful to Pathways to, Pathways to Peace um, for this campaign, whereby we could all celebrate uh, the work of women peace builders uh, at all levels. So um, if you are an exceptional peace builder, women peace builder, please nominate yourself. Or if you know any women peace builders, exceptional women peace builders in your community, please nominate their names. We will be delighted to have nominations from diverse groups, um, indigenous groups, uh, where their work is not honored and not recognized properly. Um, it's an opportunity for all of us to celebrate the work of peace builders, especially women peace builders, um, who is passionate and compassionately um, and dedicatedly working for peace within their community, within their country and within this world. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward uh, to cele celebrate the work of uh, women peace builders. Thank you. Mabuhay, this is Genevieve Balanci Kupang, a peace educator and researcher from the Philippines. Do you know an exceptional woman of peace or EWOP or are you one? I am inviting you to nominate an exceptional woman of peace by submitting the online application to https pathways to peace.org programs exceptional women of peace. The deadline of all applications is on June 15. The 10 women of distinction will be selected by July 30th, and the two finalists will be announced at the award ceremony on September 12th this year. Pathways to Peace is an international peace-building 
educational and consulting organization. For over four decades, Pathways to Peace has dedicated itself to expanding the understanding and expression of peace, fostering peace builders and peace building activities, and growing an integral movement of a culture of peace. Well, I am Pathways to Peace partners here in the Philippines. Again, this is Genevieve Balanci Kupang, a peace advocate, a practitioner of interreligious dialogue, a former coordinator of Peace Education of the World Council for Curriculum and Instruction, or WCCI, now the chair of the special interest groups of WCCI, the network of advocates for national minorities' rights, vice president, or Sandiwa, and a member of the Uni Harmony Partners Manila, Philippines. Thank you very much, and we are looking forward to your nominations. We hope this inspires you to apply. You can nominate yourself or someone else. This is an opportunity to share your work with the world. And we're so uh, excited about the nominations that we know are going to come in. You can nominate, again, as Kim said, yourself or another. And the deadline for nominations is July 20th. You can nominate by going to the Pathways to Peace website. That's pathwaystopeace.org to look under the program heading and go to the Exceptional Women of Peace Awards right at the top of the page. You can click on the online simple nomination form. We invite you to apply and for us to lift up the voices and the work of exceptional women of peace. Thank you. Thank you.